the last time I came here, I found several small crystal points. And after I studied them for a while, I realized I had several Dow points. That's where you have your facets add up to seven on the corners. You count your corners on each facet and you have to have seven and then you have to have a facet that equals three and then the next one seven, and the next facet equals three and the next facet seven. So you'll have three sevens and three three facets on the crystal. Very rare and unique. And some are known as the Chandler dowels. So they're really rare and very unique. And maybe we'll find some today here at the Crystal Cave site. All right, 81 footsteps, I believe it was, to the first crossing with some orange kill wings. What the heck? Hmm. Anyways, here's a really slippery slope. And crossing number one. All right, three more to go. And you'll be at the Crystal Caves for show. Right, crossing number two and it may be a little deep for my shoes because I forgot my boots and hope I don't fall look how clear that is all right cool Okay, made it across number two. Two more to go. We'll be ready to get some crystals. That's a little key. All right, walking on. There's a cave right up in there. Almost there. At least to the third crossing coming up right here i'm just seeing lots of color changes and all the outcroppings with white meaning quartz which is silica which means there could be quartz crystals pockets oh i'm going to find a place to cross well that's some pretty water though check that out This is crossing number three. Cool, got to cross number three. One more to go. And it's just right there. All the caves are up along this side. Okay, here's number four. Yeah, at this location, I really don't expect to find a Japanese twin or an Arkhamer. This place is really known for high quality Dow points. So maybe we'll get lucky and find some. And here's the last crossing. Oh, 
<sighs> oh, slippery. Oh. Wow. And here is the final creek. I can tell a lot of people have been walking here just since the leaves have fallen. And that's just been a couple of days ago. All these leaves have fallen. So it seems like a lot of people come out here and dig for crystals. It's a good spot. Alright, made it to the uh, campground. Nice resting point. Once you get here, you can rest for a minute because now you want to go straight up into this area. That's where all the caves are. So I like this. Well, there's been several more people come out here. And... So we got some new fire pits. But that's something you need to do, people. If you bring it, take it with you. Or finish burning it. All right, time to make my way up to the caves. Pick around at the tailing piles that the mining company up above have dumped over years ago. And that's something you have to remember is don't go on top. We can stay down here and pick around all we want. Just don't go on top of the owner's mine. So if you come over to this way, to the right of where I normally go, and check out this old scaffolding that was built years ago, be able to work the pockets up high. Wow, it's crazy. Uh, some of you may recognize this spot. It was raining when I first came out here and I took shelter under this rock and had a really nice safety meeting yeah i think i was right like this it kept me dry for a little bit all right it's time to walk on up the trail oh you can see a lot of people's been here tons of footprints okay And here are the caves. And we made it. Okay, it's been about a year since I've been here. And I'm back at the crystal caves. It's always fun to come out to this spot and dig for crystals in all these tailing piles. You can do some cave exploring. I see a beer can, you can pick up trash if you want to. Just don't go up on top.
Man, I'm finding little bitty crystals all over the place. Just right off the surface. And these little crystals could be dowel points. Look at these little bitty things. But just crystal clear. Here's something. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, it's just loaded, if you can tell. Here's a nice little crystal. Oh yeah, tons of little stuff. Just pick around in this stuff right here. I like this spot a little better. I seem to have done a lot better in these tailing piles up a little bit higher up. Okay, check out this one right here. Not a really big crystal, but man, that thing is beautiful. And it is not a dowel point. That I can tell we got a three. Wow, that thing is amazing. Water clear. Yeah, this is where I load up on all these small ones I needed. They're just covered in them. Here's something right here. Oh, that's a nice one. Is it a dowel? Nope. Almost a blue phantom. There's crystals everywhere. Look at this one here. Wow, that was awesome. Here's some type of cluster. It's almost like purple, purplish tint to it. There's something here. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what that is. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, I think it's broken though. Yep. Oh, look at that one right there. Oh no. Gotta save it. Oh wow, it's really nice. Check that one out. I love how unique and rare these formations are. Well, I dug through the tailing piles, didn't see any dowel points, but come up in here. Looks like the extension cord is gone that somebody had, but there's new trash. Most people could take their trash with them. Maybe the extension cord is still in there. All right, so I made my way up in the, the cave. I was picking away, and you're not going to be able to see it very well. But right here, the crystal, and it could be a dowel crystal. Let's check it out. Nope, not going to be a dowel.
picking along at the tailings and this one here popped out of the dirt orange tint to it really cool Look at that one. Not even broken. That's sick. Double terminated. So we found a rare double terminated crystal. Wow. This stuff is loaded in here. Let's keep pulling. Crystal after crystal. You got a pocket full. They're small, but they're very rare formations. Been picking away at this, getting deeper. This one right here popped out of the dirt. Check out that facet. They're just so unique and rare compared to most places out here. That's sweet. Yeah, a few more rakes with the antler. This one popped out of the mud. Check out that facet. Wow. So crazy. You don't really see these at Ron Coleman or anywhere else. Beautiful. Here's another point. This may be our Dow. Nope. Almost, but it's not a Dow. Oh, check this out. This thing is loaded with points. Wow. Well, I moved over, came over here, and check out all these on the surface. Check this one out. Wow, that's going to be a nice pendant. That thing is sweet. Wow. Several just laying right there on the surface. Ooh, what's this? Check that out. Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. There's the facet. Wow, look at that. That is unreal. Sweet. Oop. Nice.
Got them loading up on the small ones I needed. Damn, sure that one, too bad that broke. Oh. Check out this one right here. Oh, it's chipped. Okay, what do we got here? Nice facet. Oh, that may be a type of cluster. Like it is. Whoa, check this out. This is sweet. Wow. That's awesome. Got a nice point right there on the end. Ooh, check this out right here. Nice, broken. There's a really cool cluster. Just loaded with the Drews. Druzy man. Let's see, what do we have here? Better get walking the hiking back. Well, that's it here at the caves. I searched around and found tons of crystals. We may have a dowel. Definitely found some rare, unique formations with the flat facet on the one side and so it's a really rare crystals out here but we may have a dow i'm gonna dig through all my crystals Here are the crystals that I was able to gather walking around the caves. As you can see, they've got mud and probably iron oxide attached to them. Some of these won't need to be cleaned in acid. Let's take a look at this one here. Looks like it's got some iron attached. Looks like there's a little bit of iron right there. So first I'm going to get all the dirt off I like to use hydrochloric acid. Right here, we have one of the crystals. Wow, check out all the really small crystals attached. But this one has the really nice facet. One of these really flat, awesome facets. And that's gonna give us seven angles. If you count your angles on the facet, it'll equal seven. And if we had three of those all the way around this, plus the three, that would make it a dowel. But this is a long ways off from being a dowel point.
Here we have the crystals straight out of the acid. All cleaned up. I mean, some of these are just water clear. Look at that. So they cleaned up really nice. This one here soaked in acid for days and it's permanently stained. If hydrochloric acid did not remove it, nothing else will. If you boil your crystals in water, you're gonna crack them. Any type of heat will crack the crystals, so never apply heat. So that's how this crystal ends up. The one with the really cool facet, that's got the seven points right there. If you start where my thumb is and work your way up to the top, that equals seven, but it's still far from being a dial point because all the other facets don't. There's a three, a little tiny three. Not sure if y'all can see that right there. Anyways, some really cool crystals. I will give away every single one of these crystals that you see if this video can pass my other Crystal K video in the views. Right now it's sitting at 307,000 views. So if this video reaches over 307,000 views, it could take two months, it could take a year, but I will give every one of these crystals away to one lucky subscriber that leaves a comment. Unbelievable quality. These are crystals like you'll never find anywhere else in the world. And I'm gonna give them all away. So be sure and hit the thumbs up and share this video out. Here's the double terminated. Got a facet on that end and one on this end, making it double terminated. Yep, make it be yours. Close. But if you want to find crystals like these, Ron Coleman mining will be your best bet. Check this one out. Look how big that cap is. And the cool thing about it is completely self-filled. Thing is smooth as glass. Completely rehealed itself when it broke off and fell into the solution. I'll be giving away crystals like these right here, crystals like these to my Patreon supporters all of December, weekly giveaways. another Patreon giveaway crystal. Here's a few out of my private collection. This one right here is very close to being a Dow, 
you can see we have the three right there and just right here on this facet there's not there's not seven corners but then we have the three and here we have seven but we also have the fortune window or the diamond right there that's the fortune window and look at that prints on that facet almost like fingerprints but that is how this crystal looks a bunch of small pyramids right there in the top left corner very very special crystal and I got this one at Sweet Surrender Crystal Mine near Story, Arkansas.